Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another thrift with me, which I feel like I haven't done in a while. Today is Value Village 50% off sale, so I'm super excited because these don't happen very often. I am at my favorite Value Village near my home, so I just really hope I find some really good gems here just because they are very pricey, so that's why 50% off days are so, so nice is because then you actually get it for like a regular thrift store price, which is nuts to say but yeah anyways i am super excited just to get in thrift store so i'm gonna get out and probably get in line because there's probably already a line there so let's just go thrifting okay so we just got in and i'm just gonna go those jackets just on a whim to see if that jacket was still here that i liked Okay, if some of you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted this coat early in the week and it's here. So I'm definitely gonna pick it up and try it on. But oh my gosh, I was hoping this jacket would still be here. I was so excited because I was hoping that it was gonna be 50% off. So it's only 25, which is a lot better than 50. So I just went through the men's jeans and a little bit through the t-shirts right now. I haven't done a lot yet, but I've actually found a decent amount. I found that one jacket that I'm so excited about and I'm just gonna go through the women's now. It's not too busy yet. So I'm hoping it stays like that for a while because then I can film a bit more, but I'm doing well so far and I really am super, super scattered right? Like I just don't know where to go. So let's just hope I find a lot more. Typical Canadian sweater. That's so funny. Hold back. This is my cart right now. It's pretty full. There's obviously a big jacket in there, but I'm doing well. Those are just like the items that I've seen like on the side of the rack. I haven't really done a deep dive in yet, but I'm gonna go through all the women's shirts right now. So let's hope I find something here. So I'm just in the activewear right now and there's so much Lululemon here. It is insane. I saw some more over here like this one. This one's beautiful. I think it's, I don't know if this one will fit me. It's so nice. It's. 20 so it'll end up being ten dollars only but man this is the aisle to come if you ever want activewear there's so much lemon here and it's all 50 percent off and obviously there is no one in the aisle right now so definitely go to the activewear on 50 percent off days like first thing in the morning lemon look here and then also right here like that is crazy i know this yeah this is definitely lululemon but oh my gosh it's crazy and this one's only 10 so it'd be five bucks insane i don't know if i need uh, i don't know if i need another running tank though i i have so many this little lemon is so old oh my gosh that is so cool the finding one lemon tank in the aisle and oh my gosh it's like brand new it is so so nice and it is 15 so it'll end up being like 725 crazy look at this there's even shorts here that is crazy what size eight so not my size but not that price oh. it has only been 25 minutes and look at my cart it is freaking packed in the skirt section unfortunately i'm always looking for some nice skirts but no luck today look at this you can get a wedding dress for 15 dollars today that is insane i did not spend 15 for my wedding dress even though i wish i did because that's a steal the deal oh community oh my gosh 750 so that'd be like 325 that's crazy Cut. this is not my size not my size so i'm gonna keep going <laughs> I literally have this exact sweater in white 
and everyone always asks me where I got it, but I have no idea because I thrifted it. And that's so funny, I find another one, the exact same. This one looks really small and has these lines, which I think they're just creases, but I just don't know if these will come out or how to get rid of them. So I'm not gonna get this, but that is so funny. I find the exact same sweater. It is like my favorite turtlenecks too. So, oh, it is so cute and I love the color too. Oh, I don't know if I can fix it. Look at this, this is so fun, this sweater. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's too big for me, but man. Okay, when I'm thrifting these 50% off days, I don't like to go through every single item. I like to just kind of scan all the items and just see what pops out to me, just because I like to kind of just casually go through everything and not be so intense just so I can get through everything pretty fast and I can find like the really good stuff right off the bat and then I like to go back through everything afterwards and do like a more thorough check if that all makes sense. Just wanted to give you a little tip on how I thrift my 50% off days. All the carts are gone. They were probably gone in like the first 10 minutes, so I'm not surprised at all, but there's still some baskets, so that's pretty good. Pretty cool, I like this band, but I don't know if this is me. Doesn't really feel like me, but definitely super, super cool. It's like amazing condition too. So it'd only be like five bucks. So that's amazing for Fila, but I'm just not super, super excited about sportswear. I'm gonna go try on before it gets like too crazy busy. So, oh, there's already a line. I'm now in the change room and I'm gonna go try on these first six and see how they go. I actually had a waiting line, which is crazy. I usually don't have to wait in line when I'm like this early, but oh well. So I found this oak and fort. It is so cute, but yeah, I'm not gonna get it because it's itchy and I I will not wear it if it's itchy. I found this vintage shirt. It is so cute and it's like, it's it's so me. So I'm definitely getting this shirt. It is, mm. oh, it's kind of boring, but I found this really, really nice golf shirt. If it's amazing. Oh, it's gonna be perfect for the summertime. I don't know how I feel about the sweater yet. It's comfy though, but I don't know. And finally, here's the jacket. It is so gorgeous. I am definitely gonna be getting this, but oh my gosh. I didn't try it on until today just because I did not want to fall in love with it at $50. So I'm definitely happy with $25, but look how gorgeous it is. My cart is so full and it is so busy here. It is freaking crazy. So I'm gonna leave soon because I do not need to find any more clothes. This, this is. This has got out of hand already. Okay, so we are back home now. It is the next day, and now that I look at all the stuff that I bought at the 50% off sale yesterday, I, I am now realizing that I bought a lot of stuff, and the worst part was that I actually went back to Value Village to a different location later in the day that night, yesterday night, and I bought a lot more, so. What I'm showing you today is actually not all of it, just because this video would be like, five hours long if they actually showed you everything I got in. So I'm actually gonna be showing you just everything that I found in the thrift with me yesterday. And then I am gonna show you what I found later on in the day at a different location for the 50% off sale in another video. But yeah, I, I just got a lot of stuff, but I got a lot of really good stuff and I ended up finding some things for my shop, um, some just plain t-shirts that I'm actually gonna create and put like, this is my thrifting shirt just because I had so many people say that they loved that shirt that I created that said, this is my thrifting shirt. So I thought it'd be fun if I created some and then sold them to my shop so everyone else could have, this is my thrifting shirt so they can wear it thrifting. So I thought that'd be fun and yeah, I just, I just, I just love making things but obviously I can't make a ton of clothes because I can't wear them all so because I already have so many clothes so it's gonna be fun to kind of make some and then give it to you guys. Anyways, I'm super excited to get into this haul so let's just jump in and show you my first item. Okay, so the first item that I found, it was actually the first item I found at the store too, was this Wilfred kind of knit jersey, I don't really know, cardigan. It is so, so soft and so comfy. It looks pretty much brand new. Like, it has like no pilling, no nothing. Like, it literally looks like amazing condition. It is like this off-white, kind of has a little bit of gray in it, cream. I don't really know what you call this. But I just thought it was so beautiful and it was only $8.50, so I ended up getting it for $4.25, which is crazy for over here clothes. And the next item I got was another sweater. This one was actually like an athletic one. It was this Adidas cropped almost like a cropped women's sweater which is strange because i usually never find women's sweaters i always buy 
men's sweaters so this was kind of a change for me especially for like athletic wear or athleisure wear whatever you want to say and then this one was $15.99 so it ended up being $8 which is okay like that's fine I wouldn't have spent $16 for it so I'm glad it was half price okay so the next item I found was this vintage long sleeve striped shirt I am so pumped that I found this I usually have a hard time finding like striped vintage clothing especially like 70s kind of era I never find 70s clothing in the thrift store so I always have to buy it from like vintage stores specifically online vintage stores so I have a few that I've worn and I absolutely love them but they're just so hard to find in the thrift store so I am so stoked that I was able to find my first like vintage striped long sleeve shirt I am <sighs> I'm beyond excited for this shirt. It was $9.99, so I ended up getting it for $5, which I definitely spent a lot more than $5 for my other vintage long sleeve striped shirts. So I'm super excited that I actually found my own. This is the first one, so I definitely will be keeping this for a long time. The next long sleeve that I found was this kind of plain gray long sleeve, which it's very, very basic, which is gonna go great with a lot of like, you know, more out there pants or jackets or just anything that's more out there which is great to have some like simple clothing in your wardrobe so i was super excited to find this it was actually this is actually a men's shirt and i think it says a size large men's which it definitely is not a size large men's as you can see so i was looking through all the long sleeve men's shirts and this popped out to me and obviously men that are size large would never pick this up so this was obviously missized i don't know what planet this is a size large men's but somewhere i guess okay and the next shirt was also in the men's long sleeve sweater section which is a section i don't typically go to usually which i definitely need to start going more because they have a lot of good gems in there but specifically when i went to this section i was looking for like a rugby shirt because i've been wanting one and i'm lucky that value village did not disappoint and i found this rugby shirt and the reason why i love this shirt so much is because it actually has like a denim collar which is so so cute i absolutely love this one it is kind of like a green and maybe like a dark gray color so it's definitely very unique originally when i found this rugby shirt i was like i am gonna buy this shirt this is so cute i'm gonna crop it and it's gonna look so freaking nice but then as my mom saw it and i was like yeah i found this rugby shirt i'm gonna crop she's like no you cannot crop it and i was like why not she's like those are like worth a lot of money those vintage like rugby shirts and i was like uh but I think it would look so cute crop. So I have no idea if I should crop this shirt or not. Let me know down in the comments below if I should crop it. I personally think it would look so cute, but then again, I don't want to ruin a shirt that's like vintage and like... And next, I ended up finding a pair of jeans, which they're not Levi's, like usually that's the only thing I buy at the thrift store because I love Levi's, but they actually aren't. But they are a wide leg jean. They are these Zara jeans that are like wide leg and they're frayed at the bottom. But these are from Zara Women, they're from their premium denim collection, Ooh. And these were a size four, which usually I'm a size two, so the waist is a bit big. But I found them and I was like, these are so nice and I love wide leg jeans. So I was like, I can just thrift flip the waist so they fit because the legs don't really matter. They're a little big and they're wide legs, so they're supposed to be like that, so they don't really matter. So I was like, I'll just fix them. I have a sewing machine so I can I can just fix them so why not okay and now it's finally time for the best find of the day and it is <laughs> I'm so excited it is this leather freaking jacket oh, I don't even know you explain it but anyways a little bit about the coat it is like this full like leather suede kind of like this caramel burnt orange like my favorite colors to wear uh, I have no idea how old this coat is, but it looks pretty old, but it's in amazing condition. Like it literally looks brand new. It has like this such soft fur right here. It's not real fur. And then it's obviously lined very nicely, but I am just super stoked about this. It, it looks like it's made so well. And for $25, I think that is just a steal. Okay, and now we're gonna get into some stuff that isn't as exciting, but I end up getting some like activewear. So I'm gonna show you that. The first item I found was actually this lemon tank top. It is brand new, it looks like. It is gorgeous. It's just this black one, and then it ended up having like a built-in bra, so that's really, really convenient, so you don't have to like 
show your bra at the back just because it is like a skinny strap and it is nice nice fitted ones this will be perfect for the summertime when i go for runs and stuff so i ended up getting this one for 15 40 so i ended up getting it for do the math jenna do the math 7.75 right i think it's 7.75 Anyways, it was really cheap, and I was like, holy moly, $7 for a brand new Lululemon tank? Like, that's insane. Okay, and the next one I found, which is probably not very exciting for most people, but I'll show you it quickly. It is just this Nike golf shirt that I found. It is super nicely fitted, and it looks like a very, very expensive one. I end up finding this one for $9.99. I end up finding it for $9.99, so it ended up being $5, and it's just like this Nike golf shirt so I'm super excited to wear this in the summer when I go golfing and now I'm just gonna show you the items that I'm gonna put into my shop and the ones that I'm gonna put this is my thrifting shirt on it I end up finding four five items so I'm gonna show you them they're not all done up yet because I want to wash them and then obviously thrift flip them so I'm just gonna show you what they look like plain when I was looking for these I was looking for like the best quality ones and the ones that were in the best condition so they are really really nice I'm not gonna sell like really used ones like you okay so the first one i have here is just this navy long sleeve shirt it is super stretchy and so soft so i'm super excited that i found this one to put the little graphic on the next one i found was this gray short sleeve t-shirt this one says a large but i definitely think it's probably more like a medium so that one's a nice gray one the next one I found was this brown t-shirt. It's super cute. This one has a pocket, so I thought it'd be super fun to put this is my thrifting shirt on the pocket there. And then I found a light gray t-shirt just because I found a dark one, so I thought it'd be fun to have a light one just to have a whole bunch of different options. So this one's just super basic. And then the final one I found was kind of like this pink reddish color t-shirt. This one's super nice. It's super soft. It's like brand new. So I found all those shirts, so I'm super excited to thrift flip them. Anyways, we are finally done. I'm super, super happy with everything that I found. And wow, I'm just super excited to go thrifting again. I'm, <laughs> it just makes me so happy. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you like thrifting, thrift flips, or really anything that helps save our environment, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And also follow me on Instagram at Jenna Phipps so you can see all the behind the scenes to these videos. I did post the photos of this leather jacket on Instagram before I even bought it. So all my Instagram followers saw it and got to enjoy it before I even posted it here. That's all I have to say, so I'm going to say thank you once again, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.